Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And over here is Dot, my sweet little rescue puppy. There she is. She had a trip to the vet yesterday and she's a little sleepy because she got her four booster shots. And uh, she loves going to the vet. She loves getting out, loves traveling. Uh, but she's very tired this morning as the shots wear off. She uh, has uh, pushed up to 112.4 pounds now. And that's, uh, from what I understand, about 12 pounds too much. So uh, she and I have a challenge for this summer to try to get 12 pounds off of um, her and me. <laughs> so we'll work on that together. Um, anyway, this is our brief daily message of hope, and I pray that you're in a good place today. I was just thinking last night and this morning, uh, I often get uh, calls from parents who are uh, concerned that their children are afraid of the dark. And, uh, you know, I'm a, one of those. When I was little, I was afraid of the dark, too. I uh, used to have to have a, a hall light on or a closet light on or... Uh, some sort of the bathroom light on or have a flashlight or some light on a night light or something uh, and it's, it's not that unusual uh, but as we get older you know there are different levels of darkness that we can be afraid of not just physical darkness but we know that uh, darkness exists on other levels in our lives too uh, there is mental darkness uh, where we uh, are in need of illumination there is uh, uh, emotional darkness where we are not sure how or what or why we're feeling things the way we are and we're in need of emotional uh, uh, enlightenment. And then of course there's spiritual darkness which is the worst of all. Uh, darkness does uh, exist on all of those levels, uh, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And the light of the Lord Jesus Christ penetrates all of them. Uh, the light shines in the darkness. I was reading in John chapter 8 this morning where Jesus is uh, in Jerusalem having a conversation, uh, a heated one with the religious authorities, and he basically says to them, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And, of course, um, his uh, listeners then, the, uh, the antagonists in his uh, ministry, um, would not believe that. Uh, but it, it is uh, simply true. It's uh, one of the truths of, uh, of uh, our creation, the way we are, that light always overcomes darkness. You can test that for yourself. Uh, light overcomes darkness in the physical sense. Turn on light in a dark room, and uh, where does the darkness go? It flees. Uh, shine a flashlight down a dark hallway, and where does the darkness go? It flees from the light. Um, a, a, a mind that is cluttered and confused, that is uh, uh, exposed to beauty and compassion and truth from the Lord, uh, that darkness goes away. Uh, someone who is fearful emotionally of darkness, in, in, when they encounter unconditional love from the Lord all the time, uh, that emotional darkness goes away. And of course, in the spiritual realm, uh, God's light penetrates all the evil forces that uh, are seeking to harass and destroy us because our God is victorious over evil, over darkness, over hatred, over anger, over violence. Uh, God is our uh, king and he is the ruler in our lives and we trust in him. And put your trust in him today and follow his light and let him enlighten you and uh, the one song that always comes to my mind is uh, the one that was written by Kathleen Thomerson uh, back in the, the 70s called, I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light.
blessed day today, and God willing, Dodd and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.